carpeted streets. In the middle of the 19th century, La Rotava made an ostensible improvement in the celebration of its local festivities. This improvement brought forth a change in the way that people paid homage to Corpus Christi, which up until the moment had been expressed with the placing of small altars in front of the main mansions of the locality. The reform of La Rotava's local festivities was defined by the laying of its first carpet of flowers that covered the town's cobbled streets located in the front of the facade of the Monteverde home. It was there that Miss Leonor de Castillo, a member of the Monteverde family, decided to imitate the Italian tradition of honouring the passing of the Blessed Sacrament with flower petals. The impulse was by any means not modest, and a few years after this auspicious event, many were the people on this day that gathered together to create magnificent images with flower petals across the cobbled streets through which a great procession of the Blessed Sacrament would take place, beginning and ending at the altar of La Concepcion Cathedral. The spirit of the floral displays and parades spread rapidly across the humble and austere village of the Orotava to which consequently the Saragata was added. Contributing to the magnificent flower carpets, a design based upon the colourful repetition of geometrical motifs. From the leap of quality to the now rich and rooted tradition of La Rotava's floral carpets, it was at the beginning of the 20th century when the town carpet layers took over the newly established Town Hall Square to create a different type of tapestry. Formerly made with organic materials, as time has gone by, this tapestry has now transformed itself into a rare type of oil painting, made with volcanic sands extracted from an area of cattle passing of Las Cañadas del Teide, now the island's national park. Since then, the circle is coming to a close. And what up until the present day has been a great religious procession, it has now become an apotheosis of art and spirituality, combined in a single gesture. At dusk, on the eighth afternoon of the Corpus, everything is prepared. And as the sun sets on the work of a hard day, the service and procession of the Blessed Sacrament takes place. Banners and candles announce to the congregation the imminent arrival of silver preachers who act as shelters of the Blessed Sacrament. The sacred procession passes amongst worshippers and dissipating blessings, leaving the artistic contribution made by hundreds of devoted villagers of La Rotava in a distant memory of what they considered as a masterpiece, the carpets of the corpus. <laughs>